Whoa, I think Garp shoots at him. <laughs> that is a fast old man. What is up, Twitchlets? My name is Mr. Twitchy, back again with another One Piece Wednesdays. This time, chapter 1088. Last chapter, Garp was going absolutely ham against the commanders of the Blackbeard Army, specifically the Island Island Fruit, Devil Fruit. Uh, Shudu showed up, stabbed Garp right in the stomach because he was using Kobe as a decoy. Unfortunately, Kobe's naivete did get in the way. I'm not a rapper. And Garp had to jump in to save him. Otherwise, Kobe would have been stabbed. Now, I did theorize at the end of my reaction to last chapter that Kobe may or may not get Conqueror's Hockey here. It is very reminiscent of what happened with Luffy in Marineford. The parallels are not lost on me. It's not lost on a lot of you either. But with that being said, I don't really want to recap too much more. Um, there was a pretty cool flashback with Garp and Kuzan both punching out bits of a battleship in order to train their innate strength. That was pretty cool. But yeah, I was not spoiled on this one, so I want to get right into it before I am. And without any further delay, let's get into the newest chapter of One Piece, chapter 1088, right about now. At the former Marine headquarters, lesson one, an old man and a baby. Going back in time, you are currently riding on a boat that can hold two persons. What will you do? Okay, is this a ethical conundrum? I think so. I will get off the boat so the two of them can get to safety. Thanks, Kobe. Wrong, you fool. What? It's better to leave the old man because he doesn't have long to live. Oh, Oda, you sick bastard. I know what you're doing here. You're trying to set it up to where Garp's gonna die. I don't... Honestly, I'm 50-50. It could go either way. But at this point, if I had to choose a side, I would say that he would survive just barely and be captured by the Blackbeard Pirates. Excuse me, Vice Admiral Garp. What did you want to save by becoming a Marine soldier? The future of the people, right? Well then, you have a lot more future than the old man, so you and the baby must live on. Please don't do that kind of lecture again. All lives are equal. The future of youngsters is limitless. Several weeks ago on the Island of Women, Amazon Lily, Vice Admiral, we can't do anything but watch our comrades get taken. Permission from the top brass never came. It's because the enemy is one of the four emperors. Please save us. We don't know what they'll do to us on Pirate Island. Well, if it isn't Kobe the hero, what's the matter? You don't mind waging a full-scale war against us? Captain Kobe! He's a sword member, sir. In exchange for the 800 marine soldiers and one battleship that you're about to take, will you take me alone instead? Okay, so he did barter his way off the island. Interesting. Seems like he's quite overestimating himself. And going back to present day, full of lead island. Wah! There's a hand coming out from the island! Oh my goodness. Cannon attacks aren't working! The cannons aren't even making a dent on it! It's impossible. We can't evade it. Prepare to jump towards the sea. Everyone on board, get to the deck. Protect the civilians. Yes, ma'am. What ridiculous power. Within Pirate Island, if that gigantic hand goes down, hundreds of civilians and marines will... What should we do, Vice Admiral Garp? You can save them. Huh? Listen up. I will create a quick opening. Captain Kobe, you will destroy that island monster's hand. Huh? Can I even do it against that thing? Rear Admiral Gruss will protect the ship from the debris of the resulting destruction. Lieutenant Commander Helmeppo, you make sure that no one gets in the way of those two. All right, so they have a little bit of a plan here. Let's see if it works out. But that's... You must be able to make a decision in a snap. Jump! Yes, sir. Looks like shave. Hey! Kobe and the others are making a move. It's useless. Without Garp, you can't do anything. They call you a hero. You're just a damn brat. He said you will destroy it, but... Do you have a bomb with you or something, Kobe? I don't, but... Huff. 
Hufflepuff. I will see what I can do. What you can do? You're up against a giant hand that's capable of crushing an entire battleship. You won't escape us, Kobe. Yeah, here they come. You make sure that no one gets in the way of those two. I must hit it. Wow. Okay, so you slice a cannonball. What did you expect to happen, Helmeppo? Helmeppo! I'm not calling him son. Don't look back, Kobe. Where do you think you're going? With those severe wounds, Garpson. These are just flesh wounds. In here, I was just being worried about you, says Kuzan. Too naive! Whoa, I think Garp shoots at him. <laughs> that is a fast old man. There's the start, and oh, got a good one, and Gaze right with him, and Sosa Safa Powell. Bailey's there too, but here's Gop charging to the front. Gaze coming, but can't catch him. Usain Gop. Look at the time, 9.58, world record. Yeah, you better have bug eyes. Hmm? Why is Garp heading here? Oh my god, he's got the fist of death. Galaxy Divide. He punches the skull of the island in two. <sighs> that is incredible. Wait, don't you care what happens to your ship? Pizarro-san, that's from a punch? Quick opening. This is it. The arm is lifted. What will you do, Kobe? I will answer to your expectations. I love that line. Kobe! Oh my god, he's flying like Superman. You bastard, don't think I'll give up with this garp. Now I'm really pissed off. Yeah. Look closely to what I'm about to do. Hey, Helmeppo. Kobe has improved very quickly, but he seems to have a lot of wounds. He always wraps bandages around his hands. Oh, has he, he been doing the battleship bag as well? Look over there, it's Kobe. Don't tell me he's going to stop that hand. Yeah, <laughs> being called a hero got to his head, that damn brat. Yes, his hands and shoulders are full of them. Um, actually, Kobe asked me to be quiet about this. Hmm? He's, I'm just a normal person. I don't have any talent for fighting. Increasing the effort tenfold is not enough. I have to do it 100, no, 200 times more than anyone else. I've got to train harder so I can become an outstanding Marine that can protect everyone. Ouch. Well, would you look at that? After training with me, he's doing even more, says Garp. Yes, sir. He does it every night. It hurts. Enough, Kobe. He's punching the battleship bag continuously with his blood-soaked hands. Garp looks so proud. Yeah! It's a hand against an ant. Well, the ant's gonna win this one. Oh my, oh, this is incredible. Kobe Senpai, it's dangerous over there. Yeah, watch closely. I'll destroy your battleship and you will see the terrible sight of Marines screaming towards their deaths. And even if they escape to the sea, Aokoiji will freeze them. You can save them, thinks Garp. This isn't good. Jump to the sea. Captain Kobe. Ha, ha. Let's escape. We can't do anything about this. Kobe. Yeah. Oh, he's starting to get the lightning fist. If I can't destroy this, everyone will die. Because of me, everyone will die. Oh, he punches through the hand. Honesty, impact. I'm kind of iffy on the name. You need to work on your naming, kid. But otherwise, I'm immaculate. Huh? That hurts. Pizarro-sama! Kobe-kun? Kobe-senpai, you're amazing! Captain Kobe, incredible! But what are we gonna do about the debris? blah ha 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 Whoa, Kobe, are you for real? Since when did you have this kind of power, says Groos. Ha. Ha. Clay nest. Okay, so kind of like a spider web uh, net that he uses in order to trap all the debris. That's effective. Kobe, you were incredible. Well done. helmeppo san I did it. Yeah, you just destroyed a hand the size of a mountain. Wow, you saved us. Thank you. Now, we just need to get Vice Admiral Garp on board and we'll escape. Thank you, Kobe. 
That's not going to happen. Why, Hibari-san, are you all right now? Captain Kobe, thank you very much. This is Garp. The mission to save Captain Kobe has been accomplished. Yes, sir. Please come back quickly, Vice Admiral Garp. Nope, can't do it. Jesus Christ, there are so many double spreads in this chapter. All of you on the ship, get away from Hachinosu now. What? I'll do something about myself. The most important thing right now is that all of you are safe. Isn't that right? Prince, turn the ship back. This event will one day be known as a threat to all pirates. Now go forward. All of you are the future of the... Oh, he stabbed through the chest. Again. This time by an icicle. Clack. Oh, he must have got frozen by Kuzan. Damn. In tomorrow's newspaper, the return of the young hero, Captain Kobe, the unknown fate of the legendary hero, Vice Admiral Garp in Hachinosu, and the siege barricade incident at the future island Egghead by the Emperor Straw Hat Luffy will be reported to the whole world. The stage returns to the future island 1088 end break next week. Damn it! How could you do this to me? After I just said in my thumbnail last episode, last chapter, that Garp is him. He is still him, but technically he lost. He is surrounded by the five, one, two, three, four, five, by the five commanders of the Blackbeard army. And, oh man, that was just too much, too much. Oh, and it's called Last Lesson. I don't know why I didn't read that. Just kind of skipped over it, but that was a fantastic chapter, man. We go back, we see Garp as an instructor at the Marine Academy. He's teaching them that old people, they're near the end of their lives by just a sheer numbers game. And it's more objectively right to save a baby than to save an old man. Now that necessarily might not be the case in every scenario that a hypothetical you might encounter if this old man is let's just say for example a doctor saving that doctor might do more than this kid who might grow up to be a criminal it might be a little bit unfair to the to the kid of course if you save the old man but just objectively speaking you can't always say save the kids i understand why garp said it but just i wanted to point out that little disclaimer so it does seem like most of the marines that were uh initially on amazon lily were also the same ones that went with garp to go save kobe because kobe was the one who offered up himself in order to save them so I love that self-sacrifice. It's it's very cyclical. Kobe saves the Marines. The Marines come back to save him. Kobe then gets saved by the Marines. You, you get what I'm saying. And Galaxy Divide. God damn. Garp, what are you doing, child? Like, seriously. How do you punch an island? Kobe's feat was also impressive. I'm still not sold on the name. Like, Honesty Impact. I get it. He's kind of like the... The new kid on the block, for lack of a better term, and he is definitely naive, as showcased by last chapter and this chapter. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I don't have anything else I want to add on this chapter. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the channel for more One Piece, Jujutsu Kaisen, Oshinoko, and Dr. Stone content coming up shortly. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. See you later. Mm -hmm.